Here's the very first version of the Ulanzi and Komen travel tripod. I haven't used it that much, but I've used it enough to have my own thoughts about this. And this is the version, the first version, it had a twisty twist here to, to open up the plate. It, the newer versions have a release, automatic release here. But this one you had to turn. And I made a, another video where I thought this was the weak point of this entire tripod of an otherwise really great travel tripod. So I purchased the one that has the uh, different head or the different release plate design. That's the Zero F38. I'm gonna unbox that right now and then compare these two tripods together. This version, so you have extra spikes there. This one has an extension. Okay, so here's the different part of this. This looks exactly exactly the same here's the first version second version the legs are identical the heads are identical the way they're designed but here is the difference this is a release where you just oh i gotta let me t tighten this you click how do you do this do you turn ah oh, you turn then it releases. Right there, there's the release pin. Looks like it's the same design. Pop it in. Locks in. Whereas this version didn't have that. Oh, the plate is designed a little differently as well. So let's see these two plates. They're both Arca Swiss, so they both should accept each other's plates. But every time you want to get this plate off of the original one, you have to do this screw. And my complaint with this design is that when you have a camera that doesn't have a lot of um, distance from this knob, it's really hard to tighten this knob. And I was on a hiking, I did a little hiking shoot where I went into the mountains and I had gloves on because it was cold and I, just, I, couldn't, I couldn't tighten this in, it took a while. So there's this plate and let's remove this plate here on the other side. Let's see this. Oh, so the original one had a bubble leveler that you couldn't see. So I'm glad they didn't put it in the second one because it was basically useless. And here's this version. Okay. Let's see if the plates are any different besides the color. Yeah, they look, they're different. I don't know which one is better or worse yet. Hopefully this one's better because this was a pain in the butt to put on the cameras, on the bottom of the camera. Anyways, the difference just seems to be the release mechanism. Otherwise they look identical, weight, everything is identical. Now these heads are good for still photography or if you want to lock something, your camera off on a tripod. But if you want a fluid head, if you shoot video, then you want to get a fluid head rather than this type of head. And I bought that from Ulanzi as well. And I got the Ulanzi U190 hydraulic mini head. Let's unbox that real quick here. Here's what it comes with. Oh wow, this is a tiny, tiny head here. This one you have the old design. It's like this, so you gotta unscrew this in order to take the plate off. Same plate. Oh no, this is the plate from this one. Are these the same plate? Yeah, these look like the same plate. No, actually no, they, they're different. There's three different plates here. So you put the plate on your camera and then you put it in here. Oh, I wish it was a, a quick release. It's one of these. That's fine. Uh, so you have this. What you can do with these tripods is you could take out the entire middle section and that's why I, I uh, Ulanzi with the tripod I just bought has their own middle section replacement here. And this is where you could screw in 
the fluid head, the new fluid head. Uh, oops, this is a 3 8 and this looks like a quarter 20. Do they have an adapter? Okay, they have an adapter there. All right, let's put this adapter on. Put that in. So what you do is you're going to take off the middle section, but I don't want to take off this new one that I just bought. I'm going to use the old one and just remove this head here. The way you do that is you got to unscrew this here at the bottom. And this is, I think this is an Allen, an extra Allen key or a screwdriver or something to, uh, oh, it's not an Allen key. It's, it's like a sp specific kind of um, key screw to turn some of the, release some of these knobs. Anyways, you do that and then you release this middle lever, level here, lever here, you release that one and then you can extract the middle section. You can't take this head off of this ball mount because that's permanently there. There's no way to take this off. So this is its own piece. So you take that off, then you have this other middle section and then now I can screw in the fluid head here. And I guess you have to just reuse the same pin here, down here. Doesn't come with another one. Screw that in there. All right, now I have a fluid head. So I no longer need to, I no longer can use this one. And now I, I just, just a fluid head. And this feels pretty good. Let me, let me tighten this in here. Okay, that tightens. Okay, release. There's some resistance so your camera won't just fall down. And then this one's the pan. Very smooth. Oh, I like it. For a small camera, mirrorless camera, this is good. And just to compare, just to compare this, let me get my favorite travel tripod for video. This one is from Suri. This is the ST125 legs, carbon fiber legs, and then the VA5 head. This head, fluid head, is a lot bigger than this one, so this could accept bigger cameras, but yeah, I guess it's not a replacement for this one. This one's still really good. I really highly recommend this tripod. Now let's say you don't want the fluid head here. You don't want that video fluid head. And let's say you have the old head right here, the old one with the screw thingy, but you want, you want a quick release and you have the original one and there's no quick release. You gotta uh, uh, loosen it up with a screw, thumb screw. Well, Ulanzi sells this here. This is a Falcon quick release plate that you put adapter, that you put on top of the old one to make the old one a uh, quick release. I believe that's the idea. So there you go. That's what, here's what it comes with. You release this because this is already an Arca Swiss. So you put that on there like that, and you tighten this down, and now you have a quick release, and you don't have to purchase that whole other midsection or the newer tripod. You can have the older tripod and then have a quick release. So it adds a little bit of bulk right here, but once you tighten that down, you don't have to touch this again. And now you have a quick release. Just like this version. Pretty much the same idea, different color though. So if you still have the old one, all you gotta get is this Falcon uh, F38 adapter, Falcam I mean, and then just throw it on here and you can get that, 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 that capability of the quick release with the old with the older head. Now since this fluid head has the twisty knob here and not uh, the quick release plate, what I'm just going to do is now place the quick release adapter that I got here from Falcon Falcam and then put this on top of the pl uh, plate of the fluid head and now I have a quick release fluid head. One problem I noticed that if you have the fluid head and you put the fluid head permanently on those those sticks, it can no longer fit in the original bag carry case because it's too long. So that kind of kind of sucks. 
that um, the, the, the case was so tight that it can, it, you can't have this accessory and, and use this case. You have to get a new case. Just something to keep in mind if you want to have a setup that uh, I have right now.